Azzy Ashling Jabethme. I am an Irish citizen. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. My mother and father were born in Nigeria and my parents arrived in Dublin in the late 80s. They came to Ireland in hope of a better lifestyle. Unfortunately, in the beginning, that was not the case. Actually, originally from the notorious St. Michael's estate. Uh, at one point, it was one of the roughest, toughest estates, not just Dublin, but uh, in Ireland. Uh, today, it has been knocked down as it was deemed unlivable. I lived in St. Michael's estate from around the age of three to nine. I'd be sitting on a pavement outside my flat and a random person would walk by and call me a black you're a nigger for no reason. Um, and I would look up at them. And I can't speak for everybody else, but um, I would never be offended by that person because I'd be looking at them and I'd be thinking to myself, I'd rather be a blackie than be walking around with a mouth, with no teeth. So... That was just um, how I would uh, see situations like that. Bearing in mind, like, I'm no more than seven years old. You know, so my perception of adults uh, was very different, especially growing up in a rough neighbourhood. I lived in an estate where paedophiles, crackheads and the lowest come to earth were placed uh, when they robbed you. Well, not you, but us. When they robbed us, they didn't just rob our flat. They also took a piss and took a shit in all the rooms and broke the doors. But my parents always made sure that uh, we had hot food on our table and we were well-dressed. I have one brother named Jerry and a sister named Dobby. I'm in the middle. I remember when my brother Jerry was no more than eight years old and a lad in his class thought it would be funny to put a firecracker in the hood of his jumper. The lads nearly blew his head off. Thank God that Yari was a uh, fast acting and managed to get that jumper off him. That was when Yari was in a uh, Christian Brothers Primary School in Inchcore. Yari today uh, has a degree from UCD and a master's from DCU and a stellar acting career. He currently lives in London. My younger sister, Abby. She's an interesting one. Abby is a pure example of you can't bully a bully. Growing up, um, my sister's darker than me. And people used to always love to compare the two of us together. And um, it never bothered us because I used to look at my sister and think, you're gorgeous. You've got the same skin as Naomi Campbell. And she's a supermodel. Uh, if you called my sister names, she would punch the head off you. And nine times out of ten, she would win. <laughs> Abby today holds a degree from Trinity College as a psychiatric nurse. She's currently doing her postgrad in Trinity College. My sister Abby gifted my parents with a gorgeous grandson. His name is Tyg, he's 13, and he's currently growing up as an Irishman in Dublin today. I 
I was on X Factor as part of four piece girl group Candy Rain. We made the front page of the papers because um, we had all worked in a strip club. The media dragged me because of my stripper past and people on the internet um, used this as a reason to call me a monkey and a dog. And they also said that I had the last name of a male athlete and not a pop star. It's no secret that racism is big in Ireland, but we are no more the only black family. I want to take this time to thank my Irish friends and family. Thank you for always telling me how beautiful I am. And thank you for always roaring out your window when you saw me walk by. Rest in peace to Olympic bronze medalist, Darren Sutherland. And rest in peace and I pray that the Lynch family find justice for the murder of their son.